What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it all right drivers and dashers got another email for you and this one comes from Cheryl and here is what she had to say Pete I had a delivery today that I accepted with a two dollar base pay one dollar promo and two dollar tip so total was five dollars the drive was one mile. So let me just pause for a second. Not a terrible order for a do, for a, uh, for five dollars for one mile. Typically, that's a low payout, but for only a mile, not too bad. When I arrived at the delivery location, I couldn't get anyone to answer the door. So I sent a message to the customer. The customer responded with, "Oh, that's my work address. Sorry." The actual customer address was an additional 16 miles. 23 minutes one way. As I believe in providing excellent customer service, I told the customer not to worry and I made the drive. So a 45 minute drive to get there and back. I contacted DoorDash and made them aware of the situation so that my on-time percentage was not affected. I then called DoorDash after the drop-off to see if I could get an increase in pay for the order. I drove for a different app last year and any change in the customer address was provided with a bump of a few dollars on top, based on the distance. DoorDash apparently doesn't reward excellent customer service, and I was told that the issue would be noted and that was it. I don't know if that will result in an increase, but it doesn't sound like it. I know that this will be the last time I go that far above and beyond. 45 minutes, $5 payout, basically a waste of lunch hour. Love your videos and info. Cheryl. Well, first off, Cheryl, uh, that's incredibly frustrating and incredibly misleading because you were taking that payout with the intention of only having to drive a mile for $5, which is pretty damn good. You're literally getting, you know, uh, you're, you're literally getting, what is that? Like four or $5 for one mile. So that's fantastic initially. But where things get really uh, hinky over here is the fact that now you're forced to drive an additional 23 minutes, 16 miles away, one way, not being paid for the way back. And it's all on the customer's fault, you know? Uh, now, again, this is a pretty common thing that happens. It happens on Grubhub too. Uh, and it's happened to me on Uber Eats where a customer placed an order at a McDonald's uh, and they thought it was their work McDonald's that was down the street, but it was really the one near their apartment where they lived, which was not uh, where their work was. And it messed everything up and all that stuff. And the fact that DoorDash won't make any adjustment for you having to go out of your way is definitely ridiculous. You know, you are an independent contractor and uh, it, that, that sounds like a real pain in the ass. Personally, I would have I, I would have done something different. I don't know. <laughs> I, I would have told DoorDash, no way am I driving freaking 16 miles out of the way for no additional pay. You know, the fact that they said, oh, we'll, we'll just note this on your account. It does nothing. It does nothing. That doesn't help you. So Cheryl, I think you handled it well. I think you handled it in any way you possibly could uh, that worked in the moment. But in situations like this, like you, like you did, you always contact DoorDash. Don't take it into your own hands. And, and always ask if you can request, you know, for additional pay. You know, you never know. You might get the right customer service rep that uh, helps you out, you know. So drivers, dashers, everyone down below in the chat or the comments, do you think Cheryl handled this well? Uh, have you ever been in this situation with the last minute change of address that completely screws you over here? Uh, because again, what turned out to be an original quick payout for a quick five bucks turned into a 45 minute debacle and a waste of time, you know, because that $5 doesn't buy you anything at that point because you had to go so far out of your way. It probably doesn't even cover the gas. Definitely doesn't cover the gas, you know, especially with the price of gas that, you know, it's been lately. So 
We need to talk about this. We definitely need to go over it. And DoorDash, you got to do something to compensate drivers that get screwed over like this last minute because it's not their fault. We shouldn't have to, you know, bend over backwards for the customer's mistake, just like she mentioned. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas App. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying END 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.